four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Brutality, cynicism and tongue-in-cheek humour are the hallmarks of a video game franchise turned into big screen fight night. The story thread begins with an ancient fight to the death. It's 1617 in Japan, and a warrior and father of two who carries a tattoo of a dragon is confronted by an opponent who can literally freeze people to death, who comes to be known as Sub-Zero, and does so without hesitation. His aim is to end the bloodline of the warrior, who in quick succession dispenses with no less than 12 potential assailants. Next, we cut to the modern day. In common with the ancient warrior, the good guys have the mark of the dragon. The baddies are out to rule the world forever, and they're on the cusp of doing so. Over the years, the villains, each with superpowers, have claimed nine straight tournament wins. One more, and they will have achieved their goal of global domination. Free to do what they will. Standing in their way are but a couple remaining with the mark, one who can channel fire and the other with a hard hat that acts like a frisbee. Into that environment step three disparate characters. One is a career soldier, Sonia Blade, played by Jessica McNamee, and another an honest cage fighter, Cole Young, Lewis Tan, past his prime with a loving wife and teenage daughter. Completing the triumvirate, is a foul-mouthed, hot-headed Australian mercenary, Kano, Josh Lawson. Young and Kano also have the mark, Young with a familiar link to the ancient warrior, and are told they need to find a way to harness their inner strength, which translates to finding their superpowers. Blade is sidelined because despite her fighting qualities, she doesn't have the mark, although it must be said she comes back into the fray later. All of this, of course, results in a series of confrontations, leading to a final showdown. Movies First with Alex First. The film marks the feature directorial debut of Australian Simon McCoy, noted for his work in commercial advertising. The best thing about Mortal Kombat is the Aussie with attitude to burn, Kano. He's gifted some choice one-liners, and Lawson milks them for all they're worth. Above all, he has fun with his over-the-top role, a sharp contrast to the earnestness of the others, something McCoy has exploited to positive effect. The movie is also a special effects showcase, a number of which impress. Those who enjoy superhero movies may find enough to enjoy here, There's no doubt its target audience is young males looking for a testosterone fix, so the multiple violent action sequences should find favour with them. Still, it's hard to move past the inherent silliness of it all. Having said that, Mortal Kombat delivered what I anticipated it might, and had the good sense not to take itself too seriously. So, cheers to that. It scores a 6 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.